Hey everyone, welcome back to 5 Ways by Attack Magazine, the series where we show you 5 different ways to use a particular piece of gear. In this video, we'll be checking out Continuo 2 by Karanyi and exploring how we can use it to create a variety of sounds, so let's just jump straight in to sound number 1. So let's create a classic US house style piano, kicking off with the picked piano sound found in the keys folder of the Continuo 2 presets. Gonna pull down this release for a more snappy piano sound. Apply the filter to both sound sources. Incidentally, two sound sources within each patch can be accessed and you can use the mod wheel to morph between the two. And by applying a slight high shelf, we boost a bit more presence in the top end of this piano. And also I'll dial in a bit of the space reverb for a nice final touch. Okay, for the second sound, I'm going to do another piano, this time with a different approach to the sound design, as we'll go for something much more lo-fi. Calling up the Nathan piano sound and backing off the attack and shortening the release adds a nice organic attack phase. To increase the lo-fi feel of this sound, I'm going to back off both the low shelf and high shelf on the EQ and set the tape wow to about a third for a lovely lo-fi tape effect. Sound number three now, and time to engage one of these amazing pad presets found in Continuo 2, opting for the forwards backwards patch. Navigating to the movement section, I'm going to apply this sawtooth wave LFO to the filter. Bring down the frequency a touch for a deeper, more muted sound, and apply automation to the amount control, so we have this modulated chord easing in over each bar. Okay, moving on to sound number four, this time diving into the elements section to build our own patch. I'm going to create one layer using the sub synth 2 sound. Just going to dial in a little reverb and roll down the low end. Now let's stack this with a higher chord. I'll utilize the feedback patch, add some automation to the filter frequency so this chord weaves in and weaves out of the arrangement. For the fifth and final sound, let's check out one of the Pulses presets to add some extra sequence melodics to our loop. Opting for the helicopter sound, I'll turn on the filter, roll up the frequency slightly, increase the reverb and dimension chorus, and a little adjustment on the EQ to nestle the sound into the mix a little bit nicer. That brings us to the end of this 5 ways video using Continuo 2. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. And if you want to learn more about Continuo 2, we've also dropped a link below to the Karani Sounds website where you can go and check it out in more detail.